Hello everyone, welcome to Anisac Gaming Time. Now today we're covering some stuff that I forgot again and some new stuff, but some of the new stuff may be short and one of them is speculation. Here's the intro. <laughs> On Thursday we got the Battlefront 2 hot fix to fix certain bugs and to reduce um, the battle points on one of the vehicles in Galactic Assault. Now I'll leave one of the videos down below made by another Battlefront 2 YouTuber um, explaining all the patch notes and all that because I don't know how. I don't want to. So that happened. Um, it's nice to see that we got a hot fix quite fast as we did. That's just amazing. Now, I'm hearing that um, there's an issue of some Xbox One players. Now, Microsoft have said that they are working with EA and DICE to hopefully fix this, because apparently this is on Microsoft's part, or basically they're not able to connect. Now, I don't have this problem. I play on the Xbox One. You guys should know this. I post a lot of Battlefront 2 stuff. <laughs> um... I don't have any problems with this, honestly. I think I'm one of the lucky ones, and if I do, oof, uh, because you do realize even if you're offline, even if you go onto arcade, or if you complete this in the campaign, you still won't be able to earn it until it goes back on. So you're uh, we're, you're basically just playing the game, and you won't earn anything for it whatsoever. It's a harsh truth, but unfortunately, it is true so yeah i don't have any problems with it but hopefully you guys will be able to find a solution for it and then secondly to finally the um not secondly the um new the first um event for battlefront 2 will be going live within this weekend friday to sunday um it's called heroes unleashed <coughs> force unleash um and you basically, the, it will be 75% of the heroes in Galactic Soul, and you'll be able to play as them. So it's not like they're unlocking all of them. You'll still have to earn points for them, it's just, yeah. Personally, um, I don't, I'm, I'm okay, it's just, this is how I feel. I feel scared. I feel scared. In the vehicle event, I'm lucky I didn't even die too many times, but with heroes, uh, they, they, I know there are some heroes which are easy to kill and others that are not easy to kill. If you want to kill a hero successfully, you have to keep trying and spawn in, spawn in, spawn in. Eventually, they will die because a hero will not be there forever. I've learned that. And apparently, not many of the Battlefront 2 YouTubers are good Battlefront 2 players. <laughs> I must be one of the good ones then. <laughs> Because <laughs> I'm able to kill this, I'm able to do that, and then even I don't, it's rarely I get frustrated, but I, in a blue moon I won't. Anyway, now finally, uh, again, people are disappointed about December because there's no content, they're like they're really disappointed, like their life depends on it. We need December content! That's them. For me, I'm just like, calm down, calm down. But, as of December content, apparently Ben Walker has said some light upon this, as of some hope about this, about maybe there's a possible chance that we'll be getting stuff. But what you have to understand is that even if we don't get content in there, I know he said it, and I already thought this, that we will be getting online support from Ben, we're still going to be getting transmissions, we're still going to be getting all this stuff that we're getting, it's just the only thing that's, that we're not getting is content. I'm hoping that do like double, double HP and doing all this, but you should know from the 24th of December to the 1st of January, or maybe even the 2nd of January, those are the days that you have to worry about where basically don't expect them to work. Don't expect them to do this or to do that. I'm hoping we won't have any issues. I'm hoping a hot fix could come out with any issues with Geonosis and Kenobi before they go away because they deserve it. If you give them shit for that, you're a bad person. You are, honestly, <laughs> because they deserve it. But again, um, I will say this. 
Take it as one month at a time. We've got October's content, November's content that not many people seem to be hyped about. They want more of the stuff of January and February. I'm going to be honest with you. I love Battlefront 2, but once this game died, when this game like stopped receiving content and then hot fixes and all that, I feel like we'll be, I feel like life will be a bit more happier. It will because we'll have no more stuff. We'll have no more of this. And I'm hoping it'll be a while until we get another Battlefront game or another Star Wars related game to this. <sighs> wow, that's long. As of Life is Strange, um, a new book for Life is Strange has actually come out. Now, for the UK and, you, and Europe, unfortunately, you're still going to have to wait. You are um, actually a couple of more weeks, so I'm sorry about that. Life is Strange 2 will be coming to Max, uh, sorry, Mac O. S, I think it is, and Linux in 2019, so I'm hoping at least episode 2 will be out before then. Um, and then uh, that's really it for Life is Strange news. I I'm hoping, my, I'm predicting episode 2 to be out this December. Well, I'll just wait and see. But again, that's just my speculation. But this is the part I forgot to actually say last week. A new VR for Star Wars called Vader Immortality Episode 1 got released a trailer. Now this is a VR thing that will only be on the Oculus Quest. Uh, that's a shame because I, well, about PlayStation VR, that's a good fit for it. But no, the reason why they're doing this, because prior to the Star Wars show, is because it's all wireless, it is. So it seems to me that the it's just a possibility that this will only be available on this. It's such a shame. I feel like PlayStation VR with Star Wars they get neglected, they do. Well, like these here, Marvel are loving them. Anyway, I really want to get this, honestly. When will Fade Immortality comes out? Well, 2019, around the time, or I think on the launch, launch day, didn't make it clear, on the launch day, when um, this new VR gets released. So yeah, I will definitely be buying this. I will be, and I'm hoping Oculus Quest will be compatible with all of the other VR games, and if it's not, well, we need to rethink why you're buying it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I bet when I post this, because I'm filming this on Thursday, there's going to be more new information about different stuff, including stuff about Telltale, etc. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you next Friday with a new episode. Peace, guys. See ya.